What's up, everyone? Adam Ronas from Fantasy Alarm here with your Week 6 Yahoo DFS plays. Starting at the quarterback position, got to go with Lamar Jackson. He's $33, and he is getting it done. I think there's a change in philosophy here in Baltimore. They're letting Jackson throw more. The running game has not been great. It's actually Jackson anchoring that running game. He has at least 58 rushing yards in four of five games. He's averaging 26.8 Yahoo points per game. And again, he's throwing more, and that is the key. At least 31 pass attempts in three straight games. And we have a game total here against the Chargers of 52. The other aspect is the Ravens' defense is not what it was. They're allowing a lot of points, and we saw the game script last week coming from behind against Indianapolis. But Jackson should put up points through the air and on the ground, so he's the play at quarterback this week. At running back, i to go with Jonathan Taylor. He's only $23, and obviously he has not played a full complement of snaps, just over 50%. But we've seen the last couple weeks with the Colts playing from ahead, he's getting more touches. The last two weeks, 18 and 19 touches, 114 total yards two weeks ago, and 169 total yards with two touchdowns, one receiving, one rushing against the Ravens on Monday night. This is a good game script here. The Colts playing the Texans. Colts favored by 10. So you expect them to be ahead, and they're home. First time they're home after three straight road games. The Texans are 38th in DVOA against the run. A wide receiver, Jamar Chase, he's $24, and he is balling out each and every single week. Five touchdowns in five games and 19 targets the last two weeks. A 24.2% target share. And Detroit has allowed four wide receivers this year to have at least 121 receiving yards in a game. And Chase is at least 54 receiving yards in every game, 19 targets the last two weeks, and he is getting it done, so we'll go with him at wide receiver. At tight end, you can pay up for Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews, but if you're trying to save money, good week here for Ricky Seals-Jones. He's only $11. He played 82 of 83 snaps last week. That's what you want. A tight end who's on the field all the time. This is a great game script here against Kansas City. They are terrible defensively, allowed the most points in the NFL. And uh, Ricky Seals-Jones last week, not a big game. Five of nine targets he caught for 41 yards, but he had a 40-plus yard reception call back due to penalty, and he had three end zone targets. Washington should be playing from behind and throwing a lot, as I expect Kansas City to put up points. The Chiefs have allowed the fifth most fantasy points to tight ends. And for our value play, how about Michael Pittman, only $15? Been talking about this guy as a buy low for weeks. He finally found the end zone last week with an amazing touchdown against Baltimore. He has at least six receptions in four straight games, 39 targets the last four games. Last week, six catches, 89 yards, and a touchdown. And a good matchup here against the Texans. Carson Wentz is healthy. He's playing better. He had 402 passing yards last week. So Pittman, a nice price there at $15. Those are your Week 6 Yahoo DFS plays. Adam Rodas from Fantasy Alarm. Go get that money in Week 6.